Hi, my name is Matt, and as you can probably tell, I love planes, and I have quite a few of them. And in today's video, I need to clean this shelf behind me, which is my Vitchio IKEA shelf. And I love this shelf. It is such a wonderful, wonderful display unit. However, it gets dirty very, very easily because this is glass. So glass gets extremely dirty and it's hard to clean. And also I, I have been I have been kind of neglecting these plants, I'm not gonna lie. I know for a fact that we have a few plants with spider mites. We also have a few plants with thrips. I just wanna deal with it. I just wanna deal with that. I also have to probably water everything on here. I just wanna get this whole station nice and clean because it is the end of the summer, which means cooler days and less sun. So I just wanna prepare my plants and give them the best treatment for the upcoming season while it's still nice and sunny outside. So that is gonna be the game plan for today. First things I need to do is remove everything off of these shelves, like literally every single plant, and I will wipe down these shelves because if you do not know, pests can actually live on the surface of your furniture. You gotta, you gotta wipe that shit clean. So that is gonna be the game plan. I wanna wipe every single surface clean. I'm also gonna probably be washing the cover pots as well, just to make sure that they're gone. As for the plants themselves, I plan on using a pretty popular formula here on the internet, which includes peppermint soap, tea tree soap, alcohol, and hydrogen peroxide. So we will be mixing that later on and I will be using my handy little electric sprayer to get all of that done. But yeah, we have, we have quite a bit of work ahead of us. So let's get started, shall we? I will first start by removing everything off the shelf. That's gonna, that's gonna be a doozy. I am obsessed with my SP Columbia. This leaf is so gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. Also one of my faves, my Hoya Linearis. She is so long and so beautiful. I love her. I love her. This is one of my newer obsessions. I got this plant quite recently. It is a Raphidophora megasperma. She is so gorgeous. Like these leaves are so beautiful. And when she matures, she gets these like really cool fenestrations on the inside of her leaf. Really, really freaking stoked to see her grow. And hopefully she will do fine. <laughs> Another one of my faves is this gorgeous beauty. It is a Hoya Crimson. Oh God, I think this is the Crimson Queen. I never, I never know the difference between the princess or queen. Maybe this is the princess actually. I don't know, but she is gorgeous and bushy and I love her. This is my Hoya Bertonier, and the cool thing about her is that she actually has some peduncles right now and she is in the process of blooming. She has one over here as well, which isn't yet open. I don't think any of them are open, but she does have quite a few of peduncles, which is really cool. I have this puffos over here, which is actually climbing up the wall over here. And I don't want to disturb her really, so I think I will just work around her and not move her but she does have a couple of yellow leaves and she does seem generally quite dehydrated so i will have to take care of that but it is a puffo so i'm sure she'll bounce back now that all the plants are off the shelf i will take my trusty old little swiffer and get all the dust because there is there's quite a bit of dust <laughs> quite a bit of dust you can really see how much debris and dirt the glass shows. I'm gonna clean the surface additionally with just some glass cleaner to make sure all the gunk is off of here. Cleaning 
cleaning the shelf and I am relatively happy with it. It's gonna be as clean as it's gonna get because again, it is glass and glass is impossibly hard to clean. However, I, I'm fine with this. I, it's better than it was before. So now it's time to jump into the plants. There is a lot of plants that need treatment. So let's just get into it. We need to make our insecticidal little concoction and I will be using my one liter electric spray bottle just because I find it much more convenient. Like you can actually just press this little button and it shoots out the water. You don't have to constantly spray it and it doesn't hurt your hand. And if you have a lot of plants, it's very useful. You could also get one of those like big pump up thingies, but honestly, I find those a bit more clunky. I also have some peppermint um, soap. We also have some tea tree soap, some alcohol and some uh, hydrogen peroxide. So first things first, we're gonna put in our soap. So I have these, have these cute little cups. This is 30 milliliters and we need exactly 30 milliliters. Okay, there we go. 30 milliliters of the peppermint soap and that goes straight in there. I will have the, the exact recipe that I got this from in the description below. I won't be following it to a T because I have a little bit of a different uh, measurements, but I will, I will follow it pretty closely. We also need 30 milliliters of the tea tree soap, like so. Mmm, this smells divine. Then we need about a hundred milliliters or half a cup of alcohol. And the alcohol will really help to just disinfect everything. And then lastly, we need some hydrogen peroxide. Now in the recipe, he recommends a teaspoon, a teaspoon of the 1%, but I don't have the 1%, I only have the 3%. So I will just use like a very, very small amount of the three percent and that should be fine like maybe two three milliliters nothing too 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 much there we go and now we just need to add some warm water i think whenever whenever dealing with plants i like to use like warm ish water i don't know i think they like it more <laughs> and there we go that's our little concoction so i will spray down plants with this i will probably I will probably spray smaller plants right in my sink and then for the bigger ones I will probably take those outside. So let's get going. One of the most important things when treating plants is to really hit both of the leaf sides. So you want to hit the outside as well as the inside because usually pests like to hide in the inside, especially these little crevices where the where the where the leaf connects with the stem. That's that's where those boogers like to pour day. Eh? So we really want to hit those areas. I'm also going to water any plants that are thirsty because I haven't watered that shelf in quite some time. So I know, <laughs> I know that we have some thirsty, thirsty divas. My bathroom is a literal jungle like this is so hilarious I mean I'm kind of living for it I'm not gonna lie but yeah I'm pretty much 
Oh, I'm pretty much almost done with everybody and everybody is looking so good and I am very very happy. I finished getting everybody cleaned off and watered and they're all nice and shiny right now. It's my first time using the new uh, pesticide solution so I will definitely update you in like a couple of months on how I'm liking it and if it's actually effective against the pests. However, my first impressions are very very good. I really like how the leaves look afterwards, like they look very healthy, very shiny, very like conditioned and it doesn't leave any like weird spots, maybe like the water I think leaves a little bit of spots because I'm not using the sealed water but if you were to use the sealed or filtered water I'm sure that there would be no spots but like it looks really nice and I really love the smell. It smells so divine, I am obsessed, so yeah. First impressions, very, very good. I'm just taking a little bit of a break because I am a did, I am pooped. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and arrange all the plants back onto the shelf and make it look all nice. I might do some rearranging, but we shall see. <laughs> I am so freaking happy with it. It looks so good. All the plants look gorgeous and I am very, very happy to be done. This was quite a project. It took me quite a couple of hours. I'm just happy it's over with and it looks so nice. I am very, very happy. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it and thank you for keeping me company while I do all of these plant chores. This was definitely a very exhausting but fun day and I am definitely very, very happy with the results. And now fingers crossed that the treatment works. I will definitely keep you updated. Have a super amazing, lovely, fantastic rest of your day.